In this video, I'm going to show you how to schedule a YouTube live stream for your Zoom meetings. Let's get started. Zoom has a neat feature where you can go live on Facebook or YouTube with a click of a button. And this works great if you want to go live when your meeting starts and you want to share the link of your live YouTube stream or Facebook to your friends or followers. But what if you want to schedule your stream ahead? This is where live custom streaming service comes into play. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure YouTube, YouTube live stream, and then connect it with the Zoom meeting. Now, the first thing we need, of course, is a YouTube channel and a channel that is enabled for live streaming. How do we do that? So let's say this is my YouTube channel. We go to YouTube Studio. And we need to check the settings, which you can find at the bottom here. In the settings, if you click on the channel and the feature eligibility, we will see whether all the features of the channel are enabled. And this is what I'm interested in, features that require phone verification, which is videos that are longer than 15 minutes and live streaming. If you have not already done so, you need to enable your channel for live streaming. Once you find that live streaming is enabled, On your dashboard, you will find the live stream button right here. And you click on it. Let me dismiss the previous settings and start from scratch. I'm going to create a stream from scratch. So let us create a stream. First, we give it a name. Let's say my awesome training here we choose whether the stream will be visible to public or whether it will be unlisted or even whether it will be private so let's keep it public and let's give it a description you can choose a category that is suitable for your stream and I choose schedule for later and choose the date and time for my stream let's say it's tomorrow at 3 30 p.m. here we can upload a custom thumbnail that will be associated with the stream so let me choose some picture and decide whether your stream is suitable for kids or not by default it is no so that's it. I will create the stream. Now this stream is ready and there are three pieces of information from this setup that I need to copy into Zoom. The first bit of information I need is the stream key. It is hidden but I can reveal it and then click on the copy button to copy the stream key. I normally take it into notepad and say stream key. The next bit of information I need is the stream URL, which is over here. Similarly, I can copy that and paste it here. And the final bit of information I need is the link that should be shared with the public. And that is available in the share button. So let me click on this. And I can simply copy this link. And again, I'll put it into Notepad. And I will call it Share URL. Now that I have these three bits of information, let's see how we can use this information in Zoom itself. So let me go to Zoom. 
and sign into my account. The first thing I need to make sure is that my Zoom account is set up for live streaming. And please note that live streaming is a feature that is available only for paid accounts. So if I scroll down to the bottom, and make sure that allow live streaming is enabled for your account and choose which are the services that you want to enable facebook youtube but what we are interested in is the custom live streaming service so make sure that it is enabled once this is enabled i can start scheduling my meeting in zoom so let's say i create a meeting and i schedule a new meeting and again let me put in the same information i had put in youtube my awesome training and it is scheduled again for tomorrow at 3 30 pm and the rest of the settings i will leave them as they are and i will click on this save button now once i save the meeting I will get the option for live streaming. When I click on live streaming, as we can see, we have configure live streaming settings. Let me click on that button and it asks me for the three bits of information that I had put on my notepad. The first thing it asks is the stream URL, which I have here. So copy and paste it here. The second is the stream key, which is over here. And the third bit of information is the live streaming URL. And this is the URL you can also share with your followers, your fans, so that they can log in with this URL to watch your live stream. Click save. And you're all set. Now, when it is time to start this meeting, all I have to do is click start this meeting and it will open the zoom client now i'm in the zoom client now if i click on this button and say live on custom live streaming service zoom will attempt to connect the meeting to the youtube live stream that i had set up earlier and that's it if I now go to my YouTube studio, you can see that YouTube is trying to connect to Zoom to bring the information from Zoom into YouTube studio. And there we have it. There is around 20 second delay between Zoom and YouTube. You should note that. Now Zoom is streaming into YouTube, but it is not yet live. When you are ready to go live, you need to come here and click on the go live button. When you do that, you are up and running, and that's all there is to it. Good luck in your next Zoom meeting streaming live on YouTube.